Hello, everyone. Welcome to Noodle Talk. In the first lesson, we learned six single finals: a, w, e, i, e, u, u, four tones and two initials e, u. In this lesson, we will learn eight initials: w, h, m, f, d. T, n, l, and some syllables associated with them. First, let's learn the pronunciation of the first four initials. The first one, b. When pronounced, the lips are tightly closed, and then suddenly open, so that airflow bursts out. Now. Try to read it. B. The pronunciation is light and short. Read after me. B. B. Sounds like the second B in the word bomb. Next, P. In the same way as the initial B, also close the mouth tightly and open it suddenly. The airflow bursts out. Read, p, read after me, p, p. Sounds like the p in the word person. Next, m, pronounced with the lips closed, the tongue retracted, and then the mouth is suddenly opened. The vocal cords vibrate. M, m. Sounds like me in the word moment. Next, f. When pronounced, the upper teeth touch the lower lip, and the airflow comes out of the gap. F. F. Sounds like the f in the word five. Let's practice reading by combining these four initials. With the finals and tones we learned in the first lesson, b a b. We have already learned the method of reading in the first lesson. First, read the initials, then read the finals and tones, and then combine the two parts. Read after me, b a b. B a b a b a means number eight in English. We don't need to master Chinese characters in Pinyin class yet. We just need to master pronunciation and reading methods. The next, b u u u. The initial b. The final u, plus falling tone. Here u. Read u, then put them together, and read bu u u. U means no in English. Most of the pronunciation of Pinyin can represent several Chinese characters, which are called home phones. It means that the pronunciation of several Chinese characters. Is the same, but the writing is different, and the meaning is different. Here is just an example to help you practice reading. We will explain each of them in future lessons. P y p, the initial p, the final e, plus rising tone here. E write e, then put them together and write. Hu yi pi. Pi means skin in English. Mo a ma. The initial m, the final a, plus falling rising tone. A write a. Mo a ma. 
right after me. Mo a ma a. Ma means horse in English. One more time. Mo a ma a. Bo a ba. The initial bo. The final a. Plus falling tone. A read a. Bo a ba. Read after me. Bo a ba. Ba means that in English. One more time. Bo a ba. Mo a ma. The initial mo. The final a. Plus flat tone. Then put them together and write mo a ma. Ma means mom in English. Ba and ma usually use double characters in daily life. Write like this: Baba or Mama. Chinese people usually read them Bab, not Ba Ba, because Ba Ba sounds weird. The second Ba, you can notice that there is no tone above the final. It's not that I've got. There is the fifth tone. Other than the four tones which we learned, it is called natural tone. You can read it lightly and shortly. Read ba, ba. So read them together like this. Ba ba. Read after me. Ba ba. In the same way. Ma ma. The first syllable is flat tone. Ma. The pronunciation is heavier and longer, and the second is natural tone, ma, ma. The pronunciation is lighter and shorter. Together to write, ma, ma. There is no tone mark for natural tone, so if you see the finals without a tone above, that's natural tone. Some characters. Are at the end of a word or sentence. It does not read the original tones. It reads natural tone. This is a kind of special cases. So, if we encounter this kind of situation in future lessons, we will explain it separately. And here, we just need to learn and read natural tone. Let's read this together. Ba ba, ba ba, ma ma, ma ma. Fu wu, fu. The initial fu, the final plus the falling tone. Wu, fu wu, fu. Read after me. Fu wu, fu. Mo wu, mu wu. The initial m, the final plus falling rising tone, wu, mo wu, mu wu, mo wu, mu wu. Fu means father, mu means mother. Together means parent. Usually, fu mu is used for written language, not spoken language. Papa and mama. Are used for spoken language. Let's read these syllables twice together. Bo a ba. Bo a ba. Bo u u. Bo u u. Po yi pi. Po yi pi. Mo a ma a. Mo a ma a. Bo a ba. Bo a ba. Mo a ma. Mo a ma. Fu wu fu. Fu wu fu. Mo wu mu wu.
摸五母。Let's learn the last four initials. The initial, the. When pronouncing, first press the tip of the tongue against the upper gum, and at the moment when the tip of the gum is removed, read it out. Read after me. The. The. Sounds like the D. In English, word dirty. Next, t. In the same way as initial t, also press the tip of the tongue against the upper gum. And the airflow bursts out. Sounds like the t in the word talk. Next, n. Pressing the tongue against the upper gum is pronounced nasal. Sounds like the n in the word next. L. Touch the tip of the gum lightly on the upper gum. This sound comes from the sides of the tongue. Read after me. L. L sounds like the L in the word learn. You can find that the pronunciation of these four initials is similar. They are all sounds made by the tongue touching the upper gum first, and then the sound is made. Here is need to pay attention to N and L. N is nasal pronunciation. N, N, L is the air coming out from both sides of the tongue. L, L. Let's look at a few examples of syllables with these four initials. The a、啊、da, the initial. The final plus falling tone, ah, the ah da. Read after me, the ah da. Da means big in English. The e d. The initial the. The final plus falling tone, e. The e d. Read after me, the e. D means younger brother in English. T a ta. The initial t. The final plus flat tone. A. T a ta. Read after me. T a ta. Ta means he or him in English. T u. Two. The initial t, the final plus falling tone u, t u two. Read after me, t u two. Two means rabbit in English. N i ni, the initial n, the final plus falling rising tone i, n i ni. Read after me. N i ni. Ni means you in English. L i li. The initial l. The final plus falling rising tone. I. L i li. Read after me. L i li. Li is a Chinese family name. A famous Chinese kung fu disseminator, Bruce Lee's Chinese family name is Li. Le Wu Lu, the initial Le, the final plus falling tone. Wu Le Wu Lu, read after me. Le Wu Lu, Lu means road in English. Le Yu Lu. 
the initial le, the final plus falling tone, yu, le yu, lu, read after me, le yu, lu, lu means green in English. When learning this pinyin, pay attention to the difference between ne and le. Let's read again. De a da, de a da, de yi di, de yi di, te a ta, te a ta, te wu tu, te wu tu, ne yi ni, ne yi ni, le yi li. Le yi li, le wu lu, le wu lu, le yu lu, le yu lu. Once we have learned to spell syllables, we can use the pinyin input method to type Chinese characters. Use the pinyin input method to directly input. The initials and finals without tones. Then find the Chinese character you need in the results that appear. For example, if you want to type Chinese character da, enter the and a, and then find the corresponding Chinese character in the result. In the same way. If you want to type the character lu, you need to type le and yu. Pay attention. In pinyin input method, yu has been replaced by v on the keyboard, so you need to type le and v, then find lu in the results. Let's review what we have learned today. First, we learned eight initials: b, p, m, f, d, t, n, l. Then, practice reading some syllables. This lesson focuses on memorizing the pronunciation. Of the eight initials. All right, that's it for today. Thank you. See you next time. <laughs>